Okay, hello everybody. So, hamstring day today again. Um, like I said, we're rolling the split around and I'm showing you up until show day. Um, what I do need to say is we're actually six weeks out. Turns out I've been getting the titles completely wrong on every single video. Um, last week's was nine weeks out and we're actually six weeks out, so we've lost three weeks. However, I'm in a very good point for six weeks out, as you will see if you stay tuned to the end of the video. But for today, we're starting with the RDL machine. What did we call it last time? The Battle Squat machine, but I use it for RDL, so yeah, let's get this first set done. Just a warm up, no weight, and then we'll add some, do a couple more sets, see how it feels. That first set felt quite nice. Again, just a warm up, so I'm gonna chuck some weight on there. We're chucking 22.5 on there, so I'll do that now. 2.5 as well, let's go. We're going to chuck a 10 on now, do 30. So, I've lowered my food this week, and it's taken quite a big toll on me. I think that's the hardest last set of RDLs I've done in a while. Ooh, should I do some seated ham curls? Seated ham curls. I always put the seat all the way back. I have three on this part, and two on this part. That's exactly how I do my seated ham curls. Start on 75. I could definitely feel that one. Have we even got a little hammy pump? I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. My legs are like the last bit of fat to come off. So hopefully, on one of the last videos for this series, I'll have some shredded legs. You don't really see me with shredded legs. Like, the top of the quad comes out a little bit. But like, no veins or anything really until that first week after comp. Right then, so set number two. Same weight, no need to change it because I found it really, really well. So. I swear to God, I actually felt like my hamstrings were going to fall off then. The session's going quite good so far. Um, we got one more set on this, and we're going to go on to the single leg ham curls, which are like the leg bicep curls for your hamstring. I think I've said that in the video before, but that's the best way for me to describe it. I, um, I like destroying my legs with this normal ham curl machine, and then kind of finishing each leg off on their own, so they're both fatigued to the same level before I finish training hammies. So let's get this set done. So somebody's holding like a lighter to your leg through all of that and you have to just like push through it for it to stop. Oh, so uncomfortable. But it's gotta be done if I ever wanna grow these chicken legs. You need to embrace the pain. What he said. Right. Leg bicep curls. Single leg hamstring machine. So I'm literally just gonna chuck 20 on each side. Um, and just do high volume on each hamstring until that third set, I'm literally struggling to move. And then we'll finish with leg press, which will be after this. 
and then we'll just do a couple other muscle groups like calves, abductors. Then we're done for the day. Nice first set of that. Two more to go. So hopefully we'll be waddling like a penguin. What we're working with right now. Oh god. Hold on. I need that definition to come through because without it, I don't really have that good of definition or that good of a separation between the muscles. I want to be so lean that I can be used in like an anatomy textbook. That's the goal. I was last time. <laughs> Should publish an anatomy book. Jake's anatomy and why he hates science-based lifting. Right, last set. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Okay, so my hammies are literally in agony right now, but now we're gonna do the high feet head, close position, leg press. Um, I'm literally gonna chuck a 25 plate on now. Um, just get a good feel for the movement, and then we'll load up 125, 150, 175, you know how it goes. I think that might be too low of a fading. Chuck it up, one. Definitely got to stretch. So it feels off. More of like a cramp, I feel. Sorry for anybody with severe OCD. Five plates on one side, because that's how I roll. 125. Gonna wash this out for hopefully 12 reps. Chuck on the 25. Aim for another high volume set. 25 again. And I hope we should definitely be feeling it by then. Yeah, lowering food really messes with my strength, I think. <sighs> no excuse to not chuck another 25 plate on there. I'm actually going to put some on the other side this time. I'm still gonna chuck another 25 plate on, but holy shit! <laughs> eh, 
Because they live in Shoreley. We're going there. Right, so we're going to chug another 25 plate on. Make that 175. I've recovered a little bit from the last set, because that was just awful. Let's see if this one kills me off or not. Leg press completely done. I'm gonna have a little nap and I'll catch you guys over on the sick edit we've got for you in three, two, one. <laughs> Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Okay, right, so that does it for today's Hammy's video. I am absolutely ruined by the absolute lack of food I've got at the moment. I'm down to like about 2,000 calories right now. <sighs> it's kind of killing me, really, especially so I'm keeping this level of intensity of training while on this lower food. Obviously, I've done it a few times. I've done this prep a little bit different than normal. More intensity, more volume. I've tried to hold food as higher up longer than I did before, that way I can stay fuller, or like you can see through here, hold on, fuller <laughs> than, um, than what I've usually been like. But yeah, anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Um, Hydro Dust, I've received the samples of the tubs now. So, I know I said they'd be out the week, the last video I saw, but it really should be the week of this one you see. So, make sure to obviously check out my Instagram. There's, I should have displayed up some photos of the tubs already. But make sure to go copy yourself some on launch day, code for 10% off. I'll see you guys in the next one.